The MetaBox in Video Background Pro is the most common way of adding a video background to your website. It lets you easily configure options and will enable you to get up and running in a short amount of time. I have my home page here where I'm going to be adding a video background in this gray section. I've also already found my container element, so if you have not yet found your container element, please pause the video and check out the Finding Your Container tutorial. I'm going to jump into the edit page and scroll down to the Video Background Pro meta box. Here we have all of the options for a video background. The most important option is the container. This tells Video Background Pro where to place the video. As I said before, I have already found my container element, so I'll enter it now. Next we have the video background type. A self-hosted video background lets you use MP4 and WebM video files. The YouTube and Vimeo types lets you create a video background from a YouTube or Vimeo video URL, respectively. For now, we're going to stick with a self-hosted video background. You have the option of providing both an MP4 and a WebM video file to maximize browser compatibility. Next, we have the fallback image. The fallback image is shown while the video is loading and if the browser or device is not able to autoplay videos. This can be any type of image, but I recommend a PNG or a JPEG. There are also some advanced options for even more customization. The overlay adds a colored transparent element over the top of your video. This is great for increasing legibility. If you enable an overlay, two more fields become visible. The overlay color, which allows you to select a hex color for the overlay, and an overlay opacity field. This lets you dictate how transparent you would like the element to be. We'll add a simple red overlay to the video background for demonstration purposes. Next, you have the option to enable or disable the video from looping. If you disable the loop, you are presented with another option called End Video on Fallback Image. This means that once the video ends, the video will fade out while the, vi while the fallback image fades in. Finally, we have the front end buttons. These buttons allow your users to toggle the play and pause state, as well as the mute and unmute state. We'll turn both of these on. We can also determine where we want these buttons positioned relative to the video background. Once we have successfully saved the page, we can head on over to the web page. And there we go. We have the video background playing with the red overlay and with both front end buttons enabled and positioned in the bottom right.